Design for all is an investment in the future, ensuring that our creations are accessible, usable, and enjoyable for everyone, regardless of their abilities. And if you have the same zeal for the design, you have come to the right place. So hello and welcome. This is your host, Himanshi Kaushik, and I heartily welcome you all in today's webinar that is Design for All future aspects, prospects, and opportunities. And I hope that you all are doing fine, safe, sound, and happy at wherever you're taking this webinar from. So before we move on and learn a lot more about the design and how we actually can create a product out of it, we have our expert here with us. So I shall introduce you to our expert. We have Mr. Kamal Preet Sandhu, sir. He is currently working as an assistant professor in industrial design department and head of labs, school of architecture and design at lovely professional university. He is also a researcher in design research laboratory at Indian Institute of Technology, that is IIT, Roper, India, and also serves as a mentor in Startup India, Department of Commerce and Industry, that's from Government of India. He recently received the Sustainable Scholarship for enhancing their skills in innovation and entrepreneurship from the United States, USA. And he did different projects in ergonomics for podiatric medicine at the Defense Institute of Physiology and Allied Sciences in DRDO Delhi. He also published various articles and books in reputed publishers. And the latest one is Revolutions in Product Design for Healthcare. He has been serving on the editorial board of the International Journal of Technology and Human Interaction, that is IJTHI, and the Frontiers in Manufacturing Technology as well. So, sir, it is a pleasure for us to be here, to be able to listen to you in the webinar. And before I request you to take over the screen, I would want all the participants to know that now you can post in your queries, um, your questions, your thoughts uh, regarding anything regarding the webinar uh, in chat box or q and box. Or at the end, uh, you can raise your hand so that you, I mean, we can actually allow you to talk to our expert here. And with this, sir, I uh, now request Kamal Preet, sir, to kindly please take over the screen and looking forward for an amazing session, sir. Okay, thank you, Manshi, for your wonderful uh, opening of this webinar. So uh, I think this topic is very interesting for all of us, design for all, opportunities and future directions. So uh, uh, indeed, this topic is very interesting. So before going ahead, I would like to share with you here the picture in the left side of this screen that is very interesting one. You may feel this picture is very interesting. You see in this particular picture, majority of the people like uh, children is here, uh, elder people is here, even the younger people is here, even the disability people is here. So the diversity of the people is present in this particular picture. So basically, we are going to today discuss about design for all. So we have to consider all these majority of the peoples while considering their needs into our design to make a valuable solution for our society. So before going ahead, I would like to share with you the very interesting thing, which one uh, reflecting on your screen, that is people ignore design that ignore people. So what I say from this, the, this is a, uh, something, uh, what do you say, thought has been, uh, what do you say, mentioned by the Frank, that is design ignore People ignore design that ignore people's. The basic thing is that we never ignore the design. If I consider the one example with you, we walk up early in the morning. We interact with a lot of products. You can see if you are going to the office, uh, let us consider the example if you are going to office through a metro train. So we, you are interacting with a lot of things. Okay, you are interacting with the different stations. You are interacting with the wayfinding of the station. You are interacting with the where you want to go. You are you want to where do you go from the yellow line. You want to go for the purple line. So we can't ignore anything related to the design in our life. Another example I'm going to discuss with you, if you are sitting on your chair, again, this is a design. If you are working on your workstation, again, you are interacting with that lot of products. So I wanted to say that people ignore design, that ignore people. So we can't ignore design in our daily life. If we are ignoring the design, ultimately the end result is that the people may suffer such kind of the problems related to the maybe ergonomical problem, maybe another kind of the 
uh, uh, different kind of the problems you may face in our life. So, so let us discuss about what exactly design for all. So what I say design for all is the intervention into environments, products and services that aim to ensure that anyone, including future generation, regardless of age, gender, capacities or culture background can participate in social, economic, cultural and other activity with equal opportunities. As I discussed earlier with you in my first slide, design for all is we have to consider majority of the peoples into in our design process. Design process like we are understanding the user, we are defining the data, we are ideating something, we are making some uh, prototypes, then testing this particular prototype with the users. So design for all is basically we have to consider the majority of the data into our design process. Majority of the data means we can consider as young people, we can consider the older people, we can consider the diversity of the data, male, female, elder people, older people, everything we have to consider. Then after that, we come with a valuable solution which is actually required to the society. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to link this particular design for all to sustainable development goals. So if I talk about the sustainable development goals, how design for all link with this? As I mentioned in the definition, we have to participate in social, economic, culture, and other activities with equal opportunities. If I am going to link with this, the sustainable development, I am going to focus on the third sustainable goal that is good health and well-being. If our solution, we are providing such a kind of a solution, which is providing such kind of the innovative things, which will help to the provide innovative way to solve the health problems. We can say we can providing services or products that kind of, which can help to improve the health of the people in terms of the well-being. If I'm talking about the another sustainable goal, you can say the quality education. If we are getting a good quality education, ultimately our young generation, our young leaders in the upcoming times, you, they can develop a good viable solution if they are getting a quality education. Gender equality, as I already mentioned here, gender equality, we have to consider the every gender, like male, female in our design process to cover these sustainable development goals. Another one, sustainable development goal, I wanted to highlight a decent work and economic growth. That is very interesting, which one I mostly like here, that is decent work and economic growth. So in the design practice, or you can say in the design education, a lot of students are wanted to become an entrepreneurs. They wanted to become an entrepreneur. They have a very good ideas. They have come with the good creativity uh, solutions. They come with some innovation. So they converted this particular, what do you say, product into the market. Ultimately, if they come with the noble solution, and they will getting some something from the government organization, something funding to launch, how to launch this particular product into the market at all. Ultimately, this is totally linked to the economic growth of our, of our country. You, you are generating the jobs for the other. Even you are an entrepreneur, you are a founder of that company, but you are also contributing the economic, economic growth of our country also while generating the jobs for Indian peoples. Or you can see the another country where you are right now. So this one is a very interesting, which one I highlighted here. That is the emerging skill required in this 20th century to achieve this particular sustainable development goal that is decent work and economic growth. If you have a web, good idea, just convert this idea into a real reality and participate in improving the economic growth of our country. So now another one uh, sustainable growth uh, development goal I wanted to highlight it. Here is industry, innovation and infrastructure. So lot of people having said that uh, we are getting uh, academic knowledge, but we are not getting a, as per the industry requirement. So we are trying to get something in industry problem from the industry to solve this particular problem 
in our labs or you can say that in the design studios. So this sustainable development goal, I'm linking with that design for all. We are getting something, a real life problem from the industry partners and give this particular problem to the uh, students. They will participate in that particular problem statement and try to give the solution to the market, which uh, may be healthcare industry, maybe a computer science industry, maybe a automobile industry, maybe a, any, um, another uh, practices or services at all. So industry innovation and infrastructure is also required in this 20th century, which will fulfill our sustainable development goal, or you can see you are designing for all. Another one I wanted to highlight, another one, uh, what do you say, uh, sustainable development goal is that partnerships. So partnership is a very important role play in this 20th century. If we are partnered with the industry, if we are partnered with the, some NGOs, if we are partnered with some uh, uh, foreign universities, foreign industries, and try to understand what exactly they are doing, what exactly they are uh, what, uh, right now challenging in the globally or maybe in our country. So we have to tackle this all things and provide such kind of the design solution which can solve this particular problem. So if we are considering this all sustainable development goals, we can say we can solve majority of the people's problem in terms of the healthcare, in terms of the, any, or you can social problem, maybe you can see the social entrepreneurship problem. So I think this, um, from this uh, you will know, uh, understand about what exactly designed for all. I will uh, reconsider this. It is something like we have to consider the future generation also in the regardless of age, gender, capacities, and cultural background in terms of social, economic, and culture, which can link with the sustainable development goals. So one question come to the mind to the lot of students or the, uh, what do you say, professionals, why we can choose the design field? Why need of the, uh, what, what do you say, why need of the junk professionals, uh, uh, design professionals? What are the reasons why students are looking for uh, choosing the design field? What exactly the main reason? So I am going to highlight some of the major things which one required to solve in this 20th century. Therefore, there is a need to, higher or you can see the uh, get study in the field of design professional so this one is a very interesting finding which one uh, i am going to show here that is such paper by what do you say uh vivek kant that is a uh, such scientist in iit kanpur they are trying to show here how our india is what do you uh, india is far from the another country in terms of the ergonomically so a lot of people are challenging problem in India in terms of the ergonomics problem. So in this paper, they highlight which sectors the ergonomical problem is here and majority of death, death has been occur or you can see the injuries has occurred. In this particular graphs, I am going to highlight these things and you can link these particular things why need of design education, how we can improve these issues in our country. So first of all, I am going to highlight death versus injuries related to the different reasons why death or injuries happened and what exactly the reason behind that. So reason first is that building related. Building later, if you are an interior designer, if you are an architect, you are designing some kind of the buildings, but this building may be a something a problem in terms of the what is sustainability, maybe sustainable material is not provided, maybe what do you say, uh, design is not, seems like good. It may be problem, something, uh, uh, what do you say, People are getting some problems later to the, what do you say, uh, uh, they are facing some kind of the problem in the, when they are living in their home. So building related issues here, fire related issue is here, that is in your home, glass and related fire is problem is here and machinery issues are, is also here. So a lot of, uh, so India is a manufacturing hub. If I talk about India as a manufacturing hub, lot of flavors or you can say a lot of people are interacting with the machines, but due to the hazard work or due to the poor condition of the shop floor, or you can say the Impro, uh, improper knowledge of uh, knowledge of how to use the machines the this happening ha uh, this can this injuries or death has been occur in our country that is related to the machinery problem so second one is that i am going to highlight here death versus injury sector where is the sector this lot of death and injuries has happened that is 
authority negotiation this is another uh, uh, what do you say problem is here commercial sector is here construction sector is here factory sector is here and miscellaneous you can see in, in simple uh, what do you said uh, uh, in road uh, you are making a constructions like uh, you are making a what do you say flyovers you are making a such kind of the simple product to the company and residential uh, what do you sector is also here there the ergonomics issue has been rise in this particular paper of our country so so this is the another this is the one of the challenge there is a need of new junk technology design leaders to solve this particular problem how they come with innovative design solution to solve this particular problem this is a major issue uh, has been highlighted in this paper so that's why there is a need of designers in our country so in i already mentioned to you india is a manufacturing hub but there is a lack of designer in our country which one solve this particular human factor or you can see the ergonomic issue in our country so next one i am going to highlight here impact of lifestyle on health so right now in this 20th century the life is very fast everyone going to the job maybe some somewhere doing entrepreneurship somewhere uh, what do you say uh, doing their own business or whatever so what they in this 20th century due to the change in our lifestyle there are a lot of health issue has been happened so first one i uh, i wanted to discuss with you something like if i'm talk about the indian scenario so cardiovascular disease is here cancer is here respiratory disease is here diabetic is no more normal in our india overweight is here mental health is here so i am going to discuss here one of the uh, what do you say challenging or you can see the uh, most uh, imp uh, impactful or you can see the most uh, cited uh, papers in in india or you can see that related to the health issue is that mental health so after covid after pre covid or during a pe uh, period of the covid students or maybe some uh, lot of people um, lost the jobs or the students are getting education from the internet or they are they depress in the homes so mental pro uh, health is totally linked with that so he mental health is right now very crucial stage in globally or or you can say in our india also so lot of initiative has been uh, what do you say done by the different people in our india here i wanted to highlight in the right side of this particular screen is that health kick earlier it was job osho this is a venture uh, that is run by the one of the uh, uh, junk indian that is shivangi verma so they are providing such kind of the services without losing the weight or you can see the without uh, compromising the diet they are providing services to how we can reduce the weight also and how we can reduce the mental health of the people so this particular uh, what do you say venture is linked with they will develop something kind of a intervention they develop a user uh, user interfaces that is linked to the ux ui design students they develop a uh, something kind of some kind of the apps and they will develop some kind of the intervention they will give the suggestion to the people what exactly they are right now what exactly their uh, condition of health right now so this uh, venture is right now emerging and second one is that need this is again very uh, emerging venture that is uh, again running by the junk design leader that is they are also providing so lot of people are facing something problem related to the mental mental health they are able to uh, sleep in night so they again develop such kind of the user study how the what kind of the challenges is here why people are unable to uh, sleep better in the, in the night what exactly uh, the problem is that so they do something a research in a two to four years and develop some intervention for the same after that they develop we design that is user interface and give the services to the mental health uh, people and this venture is also going well but again there is a need of more venture or more initiative related to that how we can improve the mental health of our uh, mental health of our people so another thing i wanted to highlight that is another very challenging thing that is related to diabetic first of all i wanted to highlight here the diabetic problem so if i talk about the indian scenario we are right now in 2023 
we are right now in 2023 so one of the article one of the what do you say uh, suggestions uh, recommended by the indian uh, international diabetic federation by 2030 uh, 100 million of people may be suffer from diabetic so again this is the again challenge for our country in 2030 100 million of people may be suffer from the diabetic. So obviously, if the people face from the diabetic, so there is a need of some medical devices or something you can see the innovative product design solution for our country to avoid, uh, overcome this particular problem to that particular patients. Another one is very challenging or what exactly I feel this one is a very challenging problem to our country uh, in the upcoming time. That is to, we are right now in 2023. That is published by the World Health Organization by 2030, 40.76% of people wanted to live in the urban area. That is the huge challenge to our country. Nobody wanted to live in the rural area. So everyone wanted to relocate yourself in the urban area. 40.76% of the people wanted to re relocate yourself in the urban area. Again, if people are relocating yourself in the urban area, the pollution, uh, what do you say, sustainability and another uh, problem has been happened and health issue is also, uh, what do you say, happening. And this is totally linked to the lifestyle because People are wanted to live in urban. So uh, uh, population is also here. Pollution is also here. So again, this is the challenge will be happening in our country in the upcoming years. So another thing I wanted to highlight and again here, that is related to the Indian soldiers. That is published in the medical journal. That is Armed Forces Journal. In 2004, 10.3 million deaths due to injuries of the soldiers. So some in, uh, injuries is basically uh, like uh, uh, foot injuries, maybe lower limb injuries, foot blister is here and many more is here. So I think in, in the field of moderating medicine, there is a requirement to work on again. So how we can make an innovative footwear design, innovative uh, insoles, or you can say lower limb injury problems, how we can solve this, this is a, again challenge or here the designers need to work upon. So next one is that so what we can do this is the main thing how we can do this all things what is the major things we have to consider so basically we have to pull the needs we have to pull the needs first need is affordability so we can design something you can see the design for all such kind of the solution which can be affordable to all so every people don't weigh uh what do you say the uh, high cost price products okay maybe some people are uh, uh, what do you say brought a high uh, cost of product but every majority of the people unable to brought a high cost of the product so we have to need to pull this particular uh, what do you say first need that is affordability we have to make such kind of the design solution or you can see we have to consider during our design process how we can improve the manufacturing cost how we can improve the another design process method to make a affordable solution which can be availed by every society of the people in our country second one is that availability so availability is another challenge availability is something like that in the rural area or maybe you can see that in the urban area some product is available but maybe the lack of knowledge or maybe lack of transportation facility the product is not actual delivered to the rural area so we have to come with some system design or you can say uh, to make a such kind of the solution the product or services available to our country at every region of villages also even the uh, cities also so another one is that we have to need to pull that is high quality so we have to focus on the quality also not to make a what do you say uh, a huge number of product but they have no quality so we have to focus on the high quality products how we can make the high quality products which can be beneficial to society then reality so reality is another one local needs local need is also very important okay so something like that we are uh, some uh, we can think something like you are an entrepreneur or you are a designer you think i can make for the uh, 
uh, what do you say another country i can make for the another state but you have to think about the local needs also what exactly right now local need is here why people are facing in my local area what exactly challenging in the local area so we have to focus on that area also we have to develop the products in that particular locations also where the majority of the people may be having something problem related to the products or you can see the services okay next one is the suitability so suitability is directly linked to design for all okay if you are designing something if you consider all aspect of the design but it can be shoot to all it can be shoot to the male also it can be shoot to the female also okay but it can be vary from the your problem to problem statement so suitability is also here next is that very important and what do you say emerging skills right now require in this 20th century that is creativity so come with that kind of the methodologies or you can see the services or you can see the business models which can improve these all things that is come under your creativity you have to use assess the creativity skills in terms of developing new models in in terms of the business model in terms of the services in terms of how we can assess things develop with new things that is come under the creativity this is a required next one is the innovation innovation is basically link with the creativity so if we have a innovative idea which is not live innovation is not something like that you can do something reverse engineering or you can see the modi um, it's just a modification of the existing product innovation is something like that you will come with the new solution which is not available so this needs we need to pull to improve all the challenging which one i am i highlighted in the previous slide so another thing is that in this 20th century we are lucky the technology revolution is also here which one help you to push this particular needs so to push this particular needs we have to implement in our design process artificial intelligence rapid response design or you can see the three dimensional printing virtual and augmented reality or last one is that computer aided design and manufacturing or you can see the engineering this is a required this one required to improve your design process or improve the cost of your process also before launching into the actual market so we please take the opportunity of this also in this 20th century to pull this need the push you have to consider that is technology push to improve the all challenges which one i highlighted in the previous slide so how we can use this all things in our uh design studio at our university practice or you can see the lpu so as i mentioned to you there is the one another sustainable development goal is the industry partners so we are trying to get something problem from the industry partners and industry partners give this particular problem statement to the students so we are trying to bridge this bridge this particular gap industry and academia so student directly work on the industry problems they will design make test analyze and redesign this iterative design journey so after if their solution is innovative we are trying to convert this particular idea into the market market and we have a different manufacturing facilities also available in our lab we have a 3d printing facility we have a laser cutting facility we have carpentry shop we have mark, uh, metal shop we have tinkering lab where student can contribute to make their viable solution or you can say the prototypes so after doing this particular activities faculties motives to students to contribute engage encourage integrate and leverage their strength in the design process if i'm talk about the contribute they have opportunity to have in impact and apply their design skills in improving other people's lives or you can see they will get something a valuable feedback from the society and diversity and putting this particular thing into the design solution engage i i personally feel that engage is the one of the major learning or you can see the exponential learning requirement in design education if student is properly engaged with the real life problem they will totally solve or you can see the definitely solve, solve the problem of the Uh, what do you say the uh, these grand challenges you can see the grand challenges okay Re so engage is something like that real world clinical problem they will interact with the real world problems uh, what do you say hand on design activities 
and uh, with mentor also. Another one is that encourage. So students have to encourage something like they will do something from yourself or peer evaluation through or, or you can see the, through the assessments also, what exactly they make. So basically our focus is to, to the student is to listen, observe, examine, question, identify, and understand current problems. So another one is that integrate. They are integrate their whatever they uh, learn from the another subject, maybe another subject, maybe product design, maybe interior design. They have to use their skill into in the design process also. So after making this problem, or you can see design, make, test, analyze, redesign. So communication is the one of the uh, important skills required in this 20th century. If you do did something, you have to communicate your idea to the society. So communication is the one of the uh, required skill in this 20th century. So at the end of semester, students communicate their idea through presentation or the posters uh, in, in the design labs, or you can see the through the hackathons, or you can see the in the participate in the different activity in the globally also in the country also. So this is the uh, exponential learning happening in design education in our institute. That is industry integrated approach to teach the student, contribute the all skill of the students, engagement of the student in the class environment, encourage to implement all things in the design solution, leverage all things and integrate whatever they learn in the design solution. So apart from this, I wanted to highlight here, apart from the uh, classroom learning, students are interacting with the international experts also through our conferences to the workshops. So every year we are organizing the different uh, 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 conference that is based on international conference on product design. So students has a opportunity to interact with the uh, different diversity of the people from the different country, maybe Singapore, maybe USA, maybe uh, what do you say, Sweden. So different experts come from the different country and judge their what do you say, design processes, design projects and deliver the keynote speech. So at the end of this particular uh, conference, students showcase their design exhibition. They come with innovative idea. They show this particular idea to the uh, experts. And after that, the, if uh, something, uh, some people are uh, see that this idea is really good, we are helping the students to how we can uh, give this leverage, this particular project to the students to convert this idea to the uh, market. So maybe we are partnered with the, another uh, keynote speaker or industry partners to launch this particular product into the market. So this is another platform we are providing to the students through a conference, to the workshop, how, how they can showcase their design solution through a international symposium, or you can see the conferences. So another thing I wanted to highlight is that is very uh, interesting, or you can see uh, happening here, that is outcome of teaching. After the teaching, what exactly outcomes are here? What exactly students are learning? So what exactly outcome in terms of the physical products, in terms of the, what do you say, virtual product, uh, has been happened. So after a design project or every semester, student come with a lot of innovative products. After that, if faculty member or industry partners, or you can see the another experts feel that this idea is really innovative, we are going to field their patents and design the station. So I am highlighting here one, uh, two or more, uh, what you say, snapshots on the, uh, what exactly patents or designs, or you can see the books we are published uh, through the teaching uh, here. So one first one is that, that is based on the medical devices, that is the surgical trimmer. This is a developed by the student only of the third year. So during a uh, surgery, the uh, doctors are facing problem to do something surgery on the particular size selection. They use a first uh, particular trimmer to cut the particular uh, uh, selection. They will select the particular space and try to cut the hair from the body of the human being. But problem in that uh, earlier, they are using something like you can say the uh, 
trimmer they is not washable they have to uh, not use again maybe due to due to the problem of the inspection at all infection at all so student come with the some idea they develop something a trimmer which is a washable or a surgery tape holder so this idea is novel we we feel this particular pay, pay, patent on that another win is that during a covid so we are unable to touch that particular what do you say the any things which is uh, around our us so student develop a one innovative solution they will make a such device which can mounted on the handle of the table and they will based on the juvi rear and try to uh, uh, improve the condition of the covid and that particular handle of that uh, door so this one is also a innovative what do you say idea which one we uh, we uh, feel the patent on that another one is that design registration this is the patent design registration is also here if student having a very good design solution so this is not available which one is not available in the market we are giving opportunity the students to fill that particular design solution design idea through our ipsl also apart from this uh, faculties uh, not only focusing on the filling the patents or you can say the designing uh, designing uh, design registration during the class or you can say the whatever the learning outcomes or teaching pedagogy or design pedagogy we are trying to develop a new pedagogy in the design studio and convert this particular uh, pedagogy or you can see the solution in terms of the books also in terms of the publication also or in terms of the journals books magazine also so apart from this we are every year apart from this we are also organizing a different hackathons related to the product design related to the medical devices related to the ux ui related to the interior design in which student have opportunity to work in the interdisciplinary manner so interdisciplinary manner i highlighted interdisciplinary is the one of again 21st century skill requirement so interdisciplinary they will collaborate with the another students maybe from the btech student maybe from the biomedical engineering student maybe from the pharmacy student so industrial design student interior design student so they will collaborate each other and try to develop a one solution during this hackathon so recently we uh, organized one hackathon that is meda with the collaboration of indian institute of technology uh, bombay so that is based on the medical devices in which our one team got the first prize in medical device field they developed by one viable solution which is very innovative and requirement to the society i have mentioned in the slide that is uh, uh, first one first prize we get during this meda hackathon event so at last i wanted to highlight that is very interesting thing and how to uh, succeed in life so i am to i am going to share with you here my personal experience when i was a student so one of my friend uh, Uh, get a job in air force so we are both going to what do you say uh, to the market he mentioned me success is only possible if we are doing first of all hard work then if you have a luck and if you have a blessing so nobody beat you if you have three things in your what do you say in yours so you never fail in your life so i would say first you have your duty is to do hard work and second matters your luck and third one is your blessing so blessing in terms of your mentor in terms of your family in terms of your what do you say god so if you have these three things available with you you never fail in your life so another thing i would like to say that always be smile be patient try to get right time to get good opportunity so please be demotivate please do hard work and smile and patience you will obviously get a good opportunity in your life another thing is that i wanted to highlight here which one my mentor or you can see my family member uh, discuss with me or mention many times right mentor can pull you up so if you get a right mentor or you can see if you have a good friend which will always help you to encourage to in terms of the opportunity in terms of the career pathway you will obviously get a good opportunity so i would say right mentor can pull you up so 
after this i would say thank you for your kind attention i hope you enjoy this uh, presentation so again i repeat hard work and what do you say hard work blessings and your luck will help you in your career thank you very much definitely sir thank you so much sir for giving this presentation and i also agree um little hard work and little patience with an amalgamation um of our luck would actually um, you know help us to maybe you know have the great height of our career that we want to and sir uh, with this i would like to extend my thanks for coming in here sir for giving you. in your time for crediting your time your experience basically for us for all the students and uh, sir i would like to i mean share one thing that i took it took from the session was the way that you were explaining i mean it was all you were just smiling and that that i was like okay i mean this is something i can learn from the uh, you know mentor here i can say here is that i can be also smiling and i can be also presenting my things so sir thank you so much and uh, sir with this i would want to take your permission uh, to take up some of the some of the questions that we have uh, from the registrants from the participants so sure, sure. I... okay 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 so this question okay this question is very interesting and uh, i think it's very generalized question as well so what all books can we read you know to learn the designing it, are there any books or something that we can learn uh, you know to maybe flourish in this particular field that is called design okay so first of all you have to understand about what is design thinking so design for everything that book is really help you to make a foundation in the design field by non normal that is design for everything another one is that future of design so this book really help to you in in this field you must try this book to make foundation in the design field definitely sir thank you so much and sir um there is this question uh, i mean basically in the session also we were talking a lot about the healthcare right yeah. so i just want to know i mean not me actually the registrant but this is my question also now are there any healthcare devices that are um, you know used by a specially able person for example visual or hearing in parents if if somebody has so are there any design or the devices or the products that they can use and benefit from this one question you highlighted is very interesting which one i am going to give you an example from the lpu only so one of the faculty here that is dr kavaljit khas he is from phd from iit delhi so he developed one medical device related to the club foot so that is problem in our country or you can see the globally also the when people is born uh, children is born they have something a disability in the foot so basically he developed two instrument that is uh, how to measure the club foot what exactly the angle is here and how to reform this uh, disability so this patent is uh, you can see the device available in our country uh, you can uh, maybe you can check it on the internet also and try to get uh, the what do you say information on the internet also that is medical devices equipment on the club foot and how to measure the club foot de deformity okay yeah and uh, sir uh, extending this question are there any device which can actually measure, measure the flat foot i mean this is also a disability that actually happens with the students. yes flat foot if uh, there are lot of technologies here i mention in the my second slide maybe it pushes so three dimensional printing is here to scan this particular what do you say uh, you can do ct scan or mri of that particular foot and convert this particular into a three dimensional uh, form and after that you can use a 3d scanner also to check how the disability and how the flat uh, what do you say foot is here so uh, technology is here as i mentioned we have to implement the technology in our design process to make a good medical devices okay 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 and uh, sir there was this news that actually i was hearing about google and google says now that you do not i mean you don't need to have all the ct scans and all these scans but there will be an ni ai basically that would be actually you know um, detecting all the problems that a human body has including eye including heart cardiovascular things so what do you have to say on that sir basically this is uh, what do you say you are mentioning about the uh, what do you say virtual environment 
virtual reality that is come under the physical real, uh, virtual reality augment reality or you can say the extended reality or mixed reality so where without making a physical prototype or you can see the pro, uh, physical things we can interact with the system virtually to understand what happening in the human body during the operations also during the, during the surgery also so there are again technologies also in the design process yeah like so i mean sir how how far can it go like if an ai can do different things would be um, all that the products all the designs that we have are, will they be cancelled or will they be more need of them so that you know uh, things go smooth while testing and while doing things okay so uh, interesting one i wanted to highlight here that is on chat gpt Right, right. Chat GPT right now, if I'm talking about the chat GPT, provides a lot of services in terms of the academy also, industry also, student also. But if I think to the design studio, st students, if you don't want to lose your creativity, if you are not going to use a AI based software to make a such kind of a design solution, you I say you are obviously lose your creativity. I think creativity comes from your brain only. You only get some paper, pencil, and do something by your brain. Then showcase this creativity to the world. I think this is a better way to, uh, what do you say, uh, making a better thing for the society. So chat TV is here, but don't lose the creativity of your brain. Right, sir. And I completely agree that, yeah. of course, I mean, these are all for the help. But uh, what we, but human can do is uh, beyond possibilities. So we all, we always want to explore ourselves. So please don't fall into the trap of chat GPT or any AI, uh, rather use your mind and then might be some, I mean, take some help if you need. Uh, so with this, um, I think I would like to, sir, thank you again, sir, thank for you, sir. the queries. Now, sir, I would like to take your permission uh, to show our students about the application, basically, not application, but basically about the site. Like how sure. they can take the admission. Okay. Sure. okay. So to all the admission queries that we've had, um, so I will be showing you a one shot resolution for that. So one shot resolution for that will be our site only, that is lpu.in. So once you click on this site, um, just in a moment. Yeah. So once you click on this site, uh, you can see these. This is the interface that you will be seeing. Right, so these are all the highlights of the university. Now I am going to the admissions part. So once I click on the admission, I can see we have different uh, programs that are very beautifully adjusted and segregated from each other. You can see after 12th, after graduation, after post-graduation, after 10th, and whichever course you uh, want to go in, you can simply choose from there. So I, I'm just assuming, I'm just taking an example. Let's say you are a student who has done your 12th grade and wants to take an admission in, um, you know, a regular program, in an undergraduate program. So you go to after 12th undergraduate program and click to regular program. So once you click on the regular program, there will be a whole lot of disciplines that would be visible in front of you. You can see um, all the disciplines. You name any of the disciplines, we have it here. Engineering, computer science, engineering, application, agriculture, food science, microbiology, psychology, history, performing arts, planning, architecture, design, fashion design, etc., etc. So since we were talking a lot about design today, why not take an example of the same? So I'm going to be taking an example of design. So once I click on any of the discipline, we have a stream. If, if they are bifurcated into the, into the streams, so we will be having the streams or if they're not, then we will be having the programs. So once I clicked on the design, we can see that there are interactive design, interior and furniture, multimedia animation, product, industrial fashion. So I'm just taking a random example. Let's say I'm taking a product and industrial design here. So once I click on any of the uh, stream or any of the uh, discipline, I can see the program under that. So once I click in here, I can see all the details um, that you would be actually wanting to know about a particular course. So program details basically gives you all the eligibility criteria, whether you're eligible um, for a particular course or not. So this will be actually told from here. So you can see eligibility criteria is mentioned here. Now moving to the highlight option that would actually give you all the achievement that our students doing in context with the course or the stream or the placements or internships and what all rankings are of the university, um, of course, in related to the course or the stream. Now, uh, moving to the curriculum part, which actually tells you what you will be learning in your three, four, five year course. And you can see you 
actually will be knowing that this is the topic I'm going to be learning in this term. And hence, it will be uh, helping you to make a disciplined decision as whether you want to go forward with this course or not, because you know that you will be learning these all things. Now, I will, I'm moving to the fee structure. So once I go to the fee structure, I can see here that uh, 1 lakh 20,000 per semester is our regular fee. But again, this is not something that are, uh, students usually pay. Why? Because they get a lot of scholarship. And you can see in here, um, we have three categories of the scholarship. And category one is basically based on all these criteria. So kindly explore uh, the site, explore the fee structure and apply. And you can avail up to 38% of the program fee. Okay, now moving to different scholarships as well. So we have other scholarships as well, other than the scholarship that were mentioned there, like other special scholarships, innovation, startup, entrepreneurship, or if you are a topper from an education board, or the financial uh, aid that LPU, that is Lovely Professional University, does provide to the students. So you can explore, you can just check in which you are eligible and apply for the same. Now is the important date. Uh, the last date of the admission is 25th June. So kindly, I mean, I'm, I'm urging it's just tomorrow only. After that, you might not be able to take admission um, in the favorite course that you want. Now, how you can apply is simply click on uh, the apply now option. And there are some bare minimum requirements. And after that, you will be clicking on submit. And once you'll be clicking on submit, you'll be given your dashboard. And from there, you can simply apply for the course. Now, I hope that I've given you a brief as to what you need to do and how you need to, uh, you know, go to the site and know all the things, all the... Um, admission queries, uh, how, how you can resolve your admission queries. And if there is still anything that you would want me to tell, kindly write in the chat box or q and a box, or you can simply schedule a call with us. Here you can see the option. You can WhatsApp us and you can have a live video counseling session as well with us. So I hope that um, everything is clear regarding the admissions. And with this, uh, sir, I would want to take your permission uh, to wrap this webinar up. Can I? Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you so much to all the participants also for coming in here, for giving in your time, for being here for this long hour and the questions that you've given us are really appreciated. So we have a different webinars that are coming up, lined up. So you can just explore the site lpu.in. From there, you can explore the webinar page as well and register for them as much as you want to because they're all free and you can get as much as knowledge you want. And at last, sir, I would want to thank you again for coming in, sir, for giving this present knowledge to us. And with this, um, I take your leave. So until next webinar, stay safe and stay happy. Thank you.